Ayo, uh, Shalom. Oh, praise the Abba, Hashem, Yashar, Hashem, Rukal Kadash. Double and C Apostles and Elders are great most doing it real well. And um, Shalom to the brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Um, got this article on the Washington Examiner. It's real interesting because basically, well, I'll read it. It says, Military warns EMP attack could wipe out America, democracy, and world order. And <laughs> that's that's real interesting. It says, in an extraordinary and sobering report meant to educate the nation on a growing threat, a new military study warns that an electromagnetic pulse attack such as those developed by North Korea, Russia and Iran could essentially challenge the United States and displace millions. Based on the tot- totality of available data, said the report from the Air Force's Air University, and provided to secret, an electromagnetic spectrum attack may be a threat to the United States democracy and world order the report titled electromagnetic defense task force and the product of a mostly classified summit of officials from 40 agencies just outside of washington earlier this year is a forceful call for a new focus on preparing for either an enemy emp attack or natural hits such as solar storm so yeah you know esau saying basically because the thing is is first of all just just you know, to set the groundwork. Basically, Esau's looking to to basically have you know an EMP might go off. We might have you know set you know might have a, a chain of uh, of you know of terrorist of false flag attacks. There's various little ways Esau's going to try and utilize chaos so he can basically bring in you know the chip and martial law as you know the soothing balm to you know to the chaotic solution. So this is a thing where it's like, um, <coughs> uh, what do you call it? You know, these these guys are, you know, they're putting plans together because he's more or less saying like, yo, this could happen. We need to be ready. And he's basically saying like, hey, this is chaos. You know, he's saying democracy would end, the world order would end. And okay, if the world order ends, then, you know, to bring it in, what are they going to need to do? It's going to have to bring a new world order. Which is what Esau's looking to do. They're gonna say, okay, look, we're gonna to need to have to, we're gonna to have to rely on on they might, the RFID, the mark of the beast, you know, the RFID chip. They're gonna, they might say, okay, look, we, okay, we need it for the safety and security. You need to take this chip. This will allow us to keep track of you, to keep you safe. Blah, whatever they say, Esau's gonna say anything. And this is, you know, all about the plans of the elites. You know, the elite banking families, Jewish banking families, which are basically trying to, um, you know. They're, they're looking to lock in that new world order, man. You had, what's his name, man? Daddy Bush. Daddy Bush dropped dead today. So, you know, these guys are getting up in age. A lot of these guys have been around. They've been on the scene for, like, coming close to 100. Some of them over 100 years. These guys are getting old. You had, you had uh, what was it? David Rockefeller. Was it David Rockefeller? Yeah, I believe David Rockefeller dropped dead. And, you know, you know, Daddy Bush now. And you, hey, these guys, are get, they, they're basically wanting this thing locked in, man. These guys ain't looking to be dropping dead and having their brats inherit. And then them guys put, up, put, put, put the thing through. Just like how you got, you know, in the UK, you got the Queen. The Queen ain't even looking up to give that throne up to Charles. <laughs> Charles can go fuck himself, man. Jesus, you're looking to lock that shit in. But yeah, let me, I'll read, I'll read a bit more. It says, while it's focused on the devotees... Devastating impact an EMP hit would have on the military. It appears to support a congressional warning that up to 90% of the population of the East Coast would die in the year of an attack that would dismantle or interfere with electricity, transportation, food processing, and healthcare. They're saying 90% of people on the East Coast would drop dead. Hey, that's that's basically hey, if if you're if you know if that's the number you're coming with, then hey, people are gonna if people read that like damn. Then, you know, come with the chip and say, okay, look, we found a solution. Take this chip. People will be screaming. They'll be killing each other to get that chip, man. Come on, man. <laughs> and the thing is, is it would, you know, it would it would go dark. When it goes dark, people are going to be dropping dead like flies. Because a lot of people are going to, a lot of these men are going to be drafted into the military. So then it's, hey, it's, it's going to get real chaotic, man. Says, consider just some of the warnings in the report from the United States Air Force Air University in Curtis E. LeMay Center for Doctrine, Development and Education. Citing figures from the Union of Concerned Scientists, the report, 99 nuclear re- reactors would likely melt down without electricity to cool them. 
4.1 million would be displaced from areas around a nuclear plant as with a radioactive cloud spread. So Anne's talking about fucking, you know, nuclear waste, just ooze. That nuclear ooze going to be fucking people. You know, and the thing is, this is what Esau's lusting to do. Because they're looking to cut the numbers down anyway. So a bunch, 90% of people dropping dead. That's well within their figures. They said they wanted to maintain humanity under 500 million. Losing, you know, 90%. Of that, that's just the East Coast, obviously, but it's like you know, losing them big numbers that is well within their plans. That's planned, they want to account for that. <laughs> they, you know, it says military and commercial jets, such as those built by Airbus, could be degraded. Alarmingly, aircraft designed to carry large numbers of people and sizable cargo allow to operate without certainty about their level of resilience. So, yeah, you have planes dropping out the sky, bases would be cut off, making defense uh, counterattacks defense and counterattacks impossible so then you're just gonna have to go to march straight to martial law if you don't even know what's it guys gonna be like hey look man they might have a you know they're just gonna say because the thing is they're gonna still have community because the thing is is they're gonna they're gonna have countermeasures that's why they're even doing a report on it because it's basically say hey, get the countermeasures and likely they have the countermeasures they just could be putting this out just to get the vibration out there so people know might have it in the back of their minds, like, okay, this might happen. And when it happens, they're going to be like, oh, remember, 90% are going to... They're going to be a shit. They're going to be clamoring for anything to give them that safety and security, which is, you know, that's what these elites want. They want people running and running to the chip with open arms. It said, uh, what, civil unrest would start in hours. So that's civil unrest. <laughs> that civil unrest could, you know, that's going to be jacking people up. Yeah, so like I'm back. I'm back. Um, so yeah, uh, what was it? Civil unrest was starting hours. So yeah, that civil unrest. That's a big angle that Esau's gonna be using to you know to try and lock this thing in for him, for himself, man. He's basically gonna be saying, oh, okay, you know that civil unrest. We need to get the martial law. Need to get the chip. That's one of the angles, and that's in the prophecies as well. You know, it says people. You know, people are uh, you know have no respect of uh, the kings or princes. And, you know, the course of their actions will stand in their power. So that, like, they're basically just going to be doing whatever the hell they want to do. And Esau's, that's that's when Esau's going to have to come in with that martial law, with that chip, with these different, you know, with the solutions to the problems that he's created. And it says what power and GPS would, would go dark and EMP would cause instantaneous and simultaneous loss of many technologies reliant on electrical power and computer circuit boards such as cell phones and GPS devices. So you know them smartphones gonna go dead. Well it says damn it says failures may include long term loss of electrical power, sewage, fresh water, banking, landline. So basically it's gonna be going to the dark ages. You're gonna be all kinds of fruit. Your ass ain't even gonna have fresh water. You're gonna have to go if you're in London you have to go to the River Thames and suck up that grey murk. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, that's that's what, you know, the vibration they're trying to put out. And it's saying, you know, it's it's essentially, it's saying it'll be prime conditioned for, you know, for martial law. Which is, that's that's exactly what the uh, the elites want. The elites, the lust for that, they, they want to have a nice good excuse for that martial law to be able to pop off. For them to be able to say, oh, look, look, we need to we need to bring this in for safety, for your own protection, for your own good. We need to do this. And it says what? Uh, let me read Daniel 12 and 1. It says, and at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be time, shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. So yeah, it's going to be a time of trouble. And that's basically what he's describing. He's describing all these things. That's the time of trouble. Cause if, and, that's, and that's just from the angle of just an EMP. Because you're going to have the civil unrest. You're going to have race riots. You're going to have various different angles of which it's going to become evident. That hey, sa peace and safety has fled away, man. There ain't going to be no peace and safety in that time. You're just going to be getting all kinds of jacked up. Going to be fucked up. And then, hey, it's, uh, you know... Jake is going to be getting a, a big brunt of that, uh, you know, of getting messed up. They're going to be taking a, a large amount of that, that death and destruction. But it's going to it's gonna spread to all nations, man. Everyone's going to be getting fucked. So it's going to consume the worst. Why is that world war? World War Three. Every nation's going to have to be sending the troops to the Middle East. There's, you know. And everyone's going to hate the whore and burn them with fire. So everyone's, everyone has got them nukes. 
It's gonna be letting loose on Morocco. <laughs> uh, and it says what? Uh, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be found written in the book. So yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be the elect men. Those are gonna be the men that are gonna be saved out of it, man. Or the elect elect men and the uh, you know the one third as well. They're gonna be the ones that are saved out because you're not gonna you know. The Lord's basically got his men, by and large, anyway, the elect's going to get out of there. You're going to have a few that are going to be, uh, you know, martyrs for the sake of Yahweh Shah, but by and large, they're going to be, you know, they're, they're going to get uh, beamed out of there, man. And that's, that's it's going to be, you know, it says we're going we're to scarcely make it. So the level of death and destruction is going to be, like, ensuing. Hey, it's going to be on a level where you're just like, damn, what's going on here, you know? You're going to be getting messed up. It's going to be, the Lord's going to have to have your back. To survive, so you know that it's, it's an EMP is like the least of things. That's just showing like that's just when the lights go out. Then okay, and then and then the chaos starts because the Lord's gonna have different things happening in the midst. Beasts, you know, men are gonna be turned. Everyone's gonna be getting turned up because this is the end. That's that final judgment. So the Lord's gonna cut loose. You had previous like, like when previous kingdoms fell. It was like guys got fucking absolutely annihilated. So um. It's going to be the same thing with, uh, you know, <laughs> with this final judgment. Just times 10, man. Times 100. But, um, yeah. Uh, I'll leave it there. Yeah. I'll say, uh, praise the Lord, Hashem, Yashar, Hashem, Kadash. Don't want to say Apostle, it was a great milestone, man. Shalom.